Hello, so today we will learn about functions in C or we call it user defined functions. So let's see what is user defined functions. So we will take example and that example is let's say we have three sets of numbers. So first is x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4. So this is the first set of two numbers and next it is a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 24. Then the last set is c is equal to 5 and d is equal to 245. So we have these three set of numbers consisting of two numbers and now our work is to find the sum of these two numbers so this is the basic idea so now coming to how to solve this so we have right now so the crudest method is that okay so we will define three numbers so int s1 s2 and s3 so we define s1 and then what we do simply we do s1 is equal to x plus y and then we print f the sum of x and y is s1 similarly again we do the same thing for s2 which is equal to now the second sum of second set of numbers a plus b and s3 is equal to c plus d so this is how we are done now so what we see what are the characteristics so let's see the analyze the code we have so what are the things again so this is the basic code where we have one integer is equal to sum of other two integers and then we use this kind of printf so we repeat the same things here and here again so it's kind of repetition so it's repetition of code basically we are repeating the code a lot and only difference is that some of the numbers are changing so this is a perfect scenario for functions so now we can say what is function is that it does same work or it solves same kind of problem but for different inputs so it solves it but for different input so what happens so now what we do is we create function so these are function I write add to num in the bracket I give the arguments so the inputs here are the first some inputs are x and y then we want to find the sum of a and b then the c and d so now what we do instead of repeating the code so we just have the same piece of code which is represented by the function name and then we write the different inputs in the bracket and we might get the result because we are solving some problem so we might get some result so which is all taken care of by functions so let's see how functions are written now we come to function definition so it has the following format return 
type so first thing is return type what do we return then the function name then we open a bracket and write input argument so argument type then arg and this list can grow till arg n and we have the body in curly braces so let's see the example from here so what we have here is i write so this is the return type which is int this is the function name and here i am taking two input so the type of the first input is int its name is num1 and another input is also an int and its type name is num2 so now we start with curly braces for the body and then we define we now what is the problem we want to find the sum of two numbers and store it in a value and return the sum so what we do is that we define a temporary variable so we might have some code here in sum is equal to num1 plus num2 this way we define and then we have another keyword called return so this return what it does it returns the result that we have calculated so i write sum here so it goes and now let's see the code so when we do add two numbers so in the main body i will write the function name and it we will give the parameters x and y so they are both integers so we pass them and what we see is that it will automatically print here itself so let's try to run this code and see the result for ourselves so if we run this code we see again so these are the three initial values so we run the code but now we see these are printed because of our function call so we can what we can do is we can go to the debug project and then we can see it basically so let's try to build this one and then so if we now to so see run it so we see the result so that's about functions if you like this please subscribe to our youtube channel and you can look into www.saurabhschool.org for more such programming lectures